Hey, good afternoon. Kyler Hawthorne here from Veracity Motors. I just wanted to shoot you a real quick walk around video on our 2019 F-150 XLT that we have here on the lot. This one has the five liter V8 in it, got the 10 speed transmission, about 72,000 miles on it, and we've got it Veracity value priced at $32,500. So I'll go ahead and show you the overall condition of it, some of the awesome features that are on it and everything like that. All right, here it is, the 2019 F-150 XLT. And this is the full crew cab. This also has the six and a half foot box on the back of it. Plenty of space for hauling. This one's also got the tow hitch just down here, as well as all of your trailer hookups. And then this one also has a very nice hard tonneau cover on it. To open it, all you have to do is give this a twist and lift up. And it's got the uh, shocks on there to hold it up in place. And then this one also has a full uh, drop-in bed liner on it. Overall, this truck is in excellent condition. Got a very nice set of wheels on this one. And the tires on this thing are basically brand new. They've got tons of life left in them. You also have a very nice set of running boards on this thing. Makes it nice and easy to get in and out of the truck. It's also got the window vent visors on it. So you can let in a little bit of air uh, without getting too turbulent in there or uh, without letting any rain or anything like that in. This one also has a very nice bug deflector on the hood here, as well as a front bull bar with a uh, LED light built into it. Like I said, overall, this thing is in excellent condition. I really haven't found any flaws on it whatsoever. But that is essentially what the exterior of the truck is looking like. So we'll go ahead and move on to the interior. Here's what everything is looking like under the hood. Overall, it is very clean under here. And if you needed to check your oil, you've got your dipstick just back here. You've got your coolant overflow reservoir right up top here. And then you've got your windshield washer reservoir just over to the side. Battery looks to be in great shape. And there's no funny noises or anything coming from the engine, which is always nice. And here's what the second row is looking like. Plenty of space on these crew caps for passengers. If you needed a little bit more storage space back here, you can flip these seats up and they'll lock into place and then you have just a ton of ground space on here. If you wanna drop those seats back down, you just give this little latch a pull and the seat will fall back into place. And here's what things are looking like up front. This one does have the full bench seat on it, so you can fit six people in this truck. If you wanna use this bench seat, all you have to do is lift that seat up, it locks into place. You also have a little bit of under seat storage here. So you've got this cup holder set up that you can actually pull right out of place and flip it around, lock it into place, and then you have a ton of storage here. If you want to be able to pass through the front, you can just flip this back around put it in those little latches there, lock it into place, and then you have full pass through in the front again. And here's what things are looking like from the driver's seat. You'll notice right off the bat, you've got a very nice gauge layout on this one. You've got a nice big uh, digital center stack on here. And if you wanna change any information that's displayed on that center stack, all you have to do are use these arrows on the left side of the steering wheel. And you can go left, uh, down, up, right. Uh, and like I said, you can get tons of different information uh, out of this. It's all uh, information that can be shift through on the fly. So as road conditions are changing, you can change that different information up here and you can see everything that you need to. Uh, very nice setup there. 
Got a couple more controls here on the steering wheel. So over on the right side, this is gonna be all of your radio functions. So you can turn the volume up, volume down. You can skip songs or stations with the skip back and forward buttons. And then this M button is gonna be the different modes for the radio. So if you wanna swap from AM to FM to satellite to whatever, you can do all of that right from the steering wheel. Just below that, you've got your mute button as well as your answer and end phone calls buttons. And then you've got your voice assistant button as well. Over on the left side of the steering wheel down here is gonna be all of your cruise control stuff. So you can turn the cruise on or off with these buttons here. You can set the speed that you'd like to go. You can also increase or decrease that speed that's set by mile per hour. And then you can resume a previously set speed or cancel that cruise control altogether. Just behind the steering wheel on the left, you've got a multifunction switch here, and this controls both the brights and blinkers, as well as the windshield wipers on this little dial here. Just behind the steering wheel on the dash, you've got all of your lighting controls. So this one has the automatic headlights on it, uh, and so they will uh, turn on or off when it gets dark out for you. Uh, you've also got the fog lights just over to the left here, and then your bed lighting just below that. And then over on the right side, you've got all of your uh, gauge, uh, you know, brightening and dimming. So if you're driving at night and you're having trouble seeing past all of the screens and stuff, you can actually dim them down so that you can see out of the vehicle a little bit better. And then just below that, you've got your electronic parking brake. Over on the door, you've got all of your power mirror controls. So you can select which mirror you'd like to make the adjustments on, and then you can make those adjustments with these uh, buttons here. Just below that, you've got your power window locks and then all of your power window controls. And then just below that on the door, you have your power locks. Over in the center console, this is what your entertainment section is looking like. So it's got a nice big eight inch touchscreen on it. Got all of the modern capabilities with the uh, Bluetooth, satellite radio, AM, FM. It's also got the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto built into it. So you can plug your cell phone in with the USBs just down, down here. And that will, uh, that will pop your cell phone right up on this uh, center console for you. Very nice setup. Um, like I said, got all the modern capabilities. Uh, overall, very, very nice, um, nice technology. Just above that, you've got your traction control. You can turn that off or on with this button. If you actually double tap it, it will put the traction control into sport mode. So if you wanted to do a little bit more spirited driving, uh, you can turn that on and uh, you know you can spin the tires a little bit, slide the truck around. Um, not recommended for road use, of course, but if you wanted to have a little bit of fun on a uh, private uh, area, you can definitely do that. You've also got your hazards and then you've got the auto start stop to turn that off. Um, so this vehicle, because of the EPA standards and the government and all of that different stuff, they have basically determined that it, that feature has to be on vehicles sold in the US. Uh, it increases fuel mileage, but basically what will happen is that the engine will actually shut completely off when you pull up to a stoplight or uh, come to a complete stop, something like that. If you don't want it shutting down on you, all you have to do is hit that button and it will not, uh, will not shut down. Just below that, you've got your radio controls. And then over to the left of that, you've got your four wheel drive system. This is Ford's shift on the fly system. So it's a very cool system. Basically, as you're cruising along, you can take your foot off of the gas and you can shift into four high. Uh, you do not have to come to a complete stop. The, uh, the truck will do everything automatically for you. Uh, and then of course you got the four low and that's gonna be a traditional four low system. You wanna make sure that you come to a complete stop with the truck in neutral and then it'll allow you to shift into that low. And then you also have the rear locking differential. So you can pull this knob out. It will um, electronically lock your rear wheels together. So that way, if you're pulling something heavy and you're in a bit of a slippery area or something like that, you can lock those rear wheels together to make sure that they're both putting power down evenly. Just below that, you've got your Pro Trailer Backup Assist system. So this system is very interesting. There's a couple of stickers that you can get from Ford. Basically, you input your trailer information into the center console here. And then once all of that is done, you can actually use this dial to turn your trailer. So if you want the trailer to go right, you turn this dial to the right and it will turn, turn everything for you. If you want it to go left, you just turn this dial left and it'll turn the trailer for you. It's a pretty, pretty interesting setup, pretty sweet. Uh, if you're good at backing up trailers, um, there is still a use for this. Those smaller trailers, kind of like jet ski trailers and things like that, that are pretty hard to see in your mirrors. You can actually use this system to turn them and it makes it a heck of a lot easier. Just below that, you've got your trailer brake uh, and you've got your testing as well as your gain and all of that different stuff there. 
And then to the right of that, you've got your climate control, uh, pretty standard climate control. You got your fan speed as well as your temperature and then all of your different position selectors. And then just below that, like I mentioned, you've got those USB ports as well as a standard 12 volt port. Overall, the truck interior is in fantastic condition. It's a very nice truck overall in great shape. And it'll definitely be a good truck for its next owner. So like I said, just a real quick walk around on our 2019 F-150 XLT that we have here. Overall, the truck's in fantastic shape. With the five liter and the 10 speed transmission, it makes great power, goes down the road really well. It'll definitely be a good vehicle for its next owner. If you have any questions, if there's anything else you wanna see on the truck, definitely just let me know. You can reach me here at the store, 701-258-2277. Just ask for Kyler. Thank you.